Celebrity true or false? You can't handle the truth. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, Thomas Jane, first up in Celebrity True or False for you, you started your acting career in an Indian Telugu language film? Telugu. Telugu, yeah. my part, my bad. Uh, 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 the, in 1987. Oh, and, my God. And you were paid in the form of an RV that was used to drive the crew around, and you sold it to buy a 69 Camaro. Is that true or false? <laughs> uh, well, it has to be true. I mean, how could it not? So that is true. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They, you know, the, it was my introduction to producers. You shoot the whole movie and they're like, uh, about that payment, about that paycheck. Take the cruise <laughs> RV. Yeah. They're like, well, you know, we, we don't need, we're going back to India. So <laughs> you take the about. ride or not. That's usually it. <laughs> Actually drove that thing around for a while, and then and then I it broke down <laughs> on the New Jersey Turnpike. Oh, what exit? <laughs> broke down on the freeway, and uh, and I left it there. And then I I managed somehow to call a guy who said, "Listen, I'll tow it away for you." And he had a '69 Camaro convertible, and we made that trade. He was going to fix it up, and he was a mechanic. And so that's wow. how I got that oh, oh, beautiful, my favorite that. car, 69 Camaro convertible with a black matte paint, you know, didn't really have a paint job. I drove that thing around. <laughs> I love how your answer to when you hear that story, Mike, is what exit did you break down on in the New Jersey <laughs> turnpike. turnpike? It's a turnpike. Did you, yeah, you're like, did you at least push it to the Admiral Halsey rest stop? Like, were you able to do that? All right, so that's true. Uh, next one, you kind of hit on this one. Um, prior to playing Mickey Mantle in 61, you had never played baseball in your life and didn't know much about it before being cast. That's true or false? Oh, yeah, it's absolutely true. You know, you never say that uh, no, to I mean, a director when you're auditioning for the job, you know. So right. Billy Crystal, you know, and he's like, so, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, no, no. I played baseball my whole life. My dad used to put the front yard, <laughs> throwing the ball that. around. <laughs> so then we get over the Reggie Smith's camp which is out in the valley, Billy shows up. Mm -hmm. I'm there, Reggie's there, he's looking me over. And uh, and uh, Reggie throws me a, a ball, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the ball and I go, now, how do you hold this ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and Billy Crystal just kind of went, oh God. <laughs> but Reggie Smith taught you how to hit using a sword? He, he did sure that? did, yeah. Two by four and a samurai sword. And uh, never let me touch a baseball bat for the first two weeks. I had to balance on the two by four while I swung the samurai sword. Reggie would close his eyes and he could tell by the sound the blade went through the air what I was doing wrong and how, how to how to make adjustments. That the angle was wrong because... Yeah, absolutely, because, because if it's not a perfect uh, swing... Right. The blade will will vibrate and make noise. If it's a perfect swing, you barely hear it at all, right? Because the air the air is being cut so so perfectly. Right. But if you're off a little bit, you're you're gonna you're gonna hear that as the blade goes through the air. I've never heard of that wow. before. Yeah. Reggie yeah. Smith. I, he was the amazing. he was he was absolutely phenomenal. Could never have done the job that we did. Me and Barry Pepper who played Roger Maris. We could have never done that without Reggie. That's a huge, a great ball player, Reggie Smith. And a great uh, teacher. Next great one man. for you, Thomas Jane, celebrity, true or false? True or false? In one of the fight scenes in uh, The Punisher, uh, uh, somebody forgot to replace the real knife with a prop knife, and you wound up stabbing the seven foot four pro wrestler Kevin Nash with that. Oh. Is that true or false? That was a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to bring it up. I got to tell you, man, you know, and when, when, you, when you, I was swinging around and grabbing the prop knife and I and he's there and I plunge it into his chest, which is up here. Mm -hmm. poof, mm -hmm. And it, it stabs him and it goes in and I'm looking at the knife. I'm looking at him, Kevin. He's just looking down at me and I'm look, there's a knife sticking out of his chest. I got him right about here. Damn. Yeah, wow. that was rough. And he was so, you know what made it worse? Because he was so nice about it. <laughs> you wow. wanted him to be pissed at oh you? Oh, my God. You're like, okay, this guy's going to knock me across the room as just out of uh, reflex, you know? And uh, he just sat there and looked at the knife, looked at me, shook his head. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent him a couple cases of beer, if I remember <laughs> right. That sounds about right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.